Yo, what's going cool, on? In today's video, I have a subscriber requested a video. This video was a. Um, I'm trying to remember the name. I'm honestly trying to remember the name. I think it was. Not Gato. Um, damn, I can't. I'm trying to remember the name. Like, I'm trying to look for it right now, real quick, real quick, before I even get into the video. Yeah, okay. Yeah, actually, no, I probably won't find it because this was actually requested to me a few days ago. I apologize for it taking a minute. But anyway, one of my subscribers requested a video where every time you click a uh, text button and stuff, the um, what's it called your players like like gets bigger and bigger every time you uh click and stuff like that. So it's a subscriber requested video and stuff. As always, you guys can request videos in the Discord or um in the comments. I really do appreciate it as it gives me more content and stuff. Now just. Disclaimer, obviously I can't do literally everything as I'm not an advanced advanced scripter, but I can probably do most things that you guys ask for. But yeah, let's get right into the video. So if you so first things first, we're gonna obviously need a GUI. We'll call this our hmm size increaser. Size increaser GUI. Yeah, that sounds good. Then we will insert a text button into the size increaser. We'll call this our size increaser button. Oh, increaser button, right? We could like put it right here. You guys don't have to do this. I'm just like it just kind of bothers me when like the text is like so small and stuff, and like it just looks so ordinary. So we're just gonna say plus one size. We'll make the text color like you know like a nice red. And oh, didn't mean to do that. Then we'll set the background color to like I don't know like. Yeah, yeah, blue's cool, blue's cool. Right. Then we're gonna insert a make sure you put a server script, not local script, a server script, right? And we'll say size increase. We could just say size increase script. We'll just go with that, right? Then here. We are going to do honestly. Another thing about it, I don't remember it all that much. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to I don't remember. Because the thing is about it, you're trying to increase the humanoid uh what's it called? The uh, humanoid things, right? I know it's like body depth scale, body weight scale. It's like four. I know it's like four. Okay. The point is here. We could just click play and then I'll show you guys, right? So if we just click play, right? Because honestly, I don't remember it from memory. If I'm being honest with y'all, because I don't, I don't really use this a lot. I don't, I don't, I don't use these. If I'm being honest with y'all, like yeah, you want to change these, right? You, you want to change these. That's the thing. You want to change like the well, except body type. You don't have to change body type, but or body proportion. You're changing body height, body depth, body width and yeah just those just those three oh and head scale yeah, yeah head scale those four i was like i noticed four but yeah so you could type this while you play or you could just use the ones the video but anyway okay so of course first things first we're gonna need to get the humanoid right so we're going to get well actually hold on let me just hmm we'll get the human we'll get the humanoid afterwards anyway we'll do script dot parent might as well click connect function right close that right then we have to get the humanoid so let me go into players I'm gonna access the GUI from here right so I'm gonna do so I'm gonna get the character by doing local character and then I'm gonna do game I mean wait yeah game that workspace five first child then I'm gonna do script dot parent look dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent and then name of course we're looking for someone specific right then we are going to do and then we're going to get we could we could make humanoid a separate variable we, yeah we, we could really make humanoid a separate variable. just do character dot humanoid if you wanted to yeah we could then we'll do humanoid dot and then if i remember correctly it should be these two and head scale was yeah, yeah yeah so pretty much the first two and last two to pretty much pretty simply so do body tip scale dot value is equal and then you you have a lot of copying and pasting to do pretty much right then you can just do you guys can change one like change it to whatever you want it's completely up to y'all this is just what I'm doing body height scale dot value is equal then again plus one then um not body type body we yeah, have body width okay you know dot body width scale dot value is equal copy and paste that 
boom. Oh, control V. By the way, I'm doing control C and control V to copy and paste it if you guys were wondering. Yeah, humanoid dot head scale dot value is equal and then, oh, we'll select this, boom, plus one, and boom, there we go. We have finished. Now, just in case this doesn't save, because keep in mind we are typing this while we're playing and stuff, it should save. I believe it only doesn't save during team test, but just in case, I would just control C just to make sure. Okay, it does save. All right. But yeah. Okay. Now, if we click play, right? Because obviously it wouldn't work since scripting changes made like while a, ga while a game is like live, it obviously won't work. But yeah. So now, if we do it, right? Plus one size, as you guys can see, I've increased by one. Another. Keep moving up and up and up. Now, to obviously balance it out, you would probably want to increase the, um, what's it called? The players, um, what's it called? The humanoids, uh, jump power and stuff. Because you know, like, you see how, like, the jumping is, like, kind of awkward a little. It's, it's a little awkward since, like, a bigger body and stuff and yeah you can obviously change from plus one you can change it to like like it looks like we're kind of walking in slow motion and stuff Like you would need to change like the walk speed and stuff to like kind of adjust to like the like pretty much you want it to so it scales correctly pretty much but yeah so that's how you make a um what's it called size increaser every time you left click a button and stuff um I'm, again i'm sorry for not remembering your name stuff because you requested this video uh, a while ago and i just got to it and stuff but i hope this video was helpful and yeah thank you guys for watching leave a like and subscribe uh links are on my discord and roblox group can be found in the description thank you guys for all the support we're almost 300 subs 13 more to go let's get there i'll see you guys